Монголчуудчи дээр үеэсэн надад тань хөрж ирсэн. Өдөр тутам хэрэгцээ тэгэл морио өдөр болгоо нь нал малтай юу шүү дээ. Өвлийн зах тал сайхан шүү дээ. Адуу нөхшөнд идэх. Таахгүй шүү дээ. Адуу нөхөд идэх гэж яхад бол. The concern is that emerging diseases could cross from the animals to man and cause a severe illness. Duke University is very forward thinking in that we're partnering with people from about 80 different countries doing studies like this to improve the health of people and sometimes in this case animals. We know that about 70% of the time that emerging diseases that affect humans come from animals. And so where we want to study novel pathogen emergence is places like this in Mongolia where there's a large number of animals in contact with people. So we're here trying to anticipate how the next major human pathogen threat would affect mankind. The Duke Global Health Institute is partnering with the Mongolian Ministry of Health to conduct One Health research and training uh, to better improve the lives of people and animals and actually improve the environment here in Mongolia. Well, we're doing that by uh, training U.S. scholars and Mongolian scholars to work together on some of the zoonotic disease problems here in Mongolia. The initial six weeks of my training um, was actually spent at Duke University um, where we did a One Health training program. I mean, it was a, it was a wonderful opportunity because people from all over the world um, took part in this training program. We all came together to learn about the One Health principles. Horses are very important a part of Mongolian nomadic lifestyle. If uh, horses have icon influenza, it can be transmitted very fast to one to another uh, herd family. We look for uh, the pathogen of the icon influenza, which is uh, H3N8, from the uh, sick horses, and then we look for the viruses from humans, if it's transmittable or not. Well, we have funding uh, from the USNIH to bring innovation to Mongolia. We're bringing some technology here from a uh, company that makes diagnostics in the United States called Quidel. And we're trying to be able to detect human influenza and uh, equine or horse influenza in these rural regions where they don't have any diagnostics. Currently, for people in this area, which is five or six hours drive from the capital, to make a diagnosis of influenza virus in humans or animals, it may take a week. By that time, the person has either recovered or has perished. So what we're trying to do is give them a much shorter time frame, maybe half an hour, such that they could administer vaccines to the animals or people or the families or antivirals to the people and save lives. What we're doing at the moment, we're running a known negative, a negative control, uh, a known positive, a positive control, and an unknown sample collected um, from somebody who could potentially be infected with influenza. This was a very uh, big issue in the country. So after uh, we uh, bringing this uh, technology, new machine, so we now we can do the test in uh, within 20 minutes in that area, right? So the doctor can get the result very quick and start with the appropriate uh, treatment right away. So we have the rapid influenza diagnostics at the branch of the National Center for Zoonotic Diseases to help you. Maybe you will save some lives, yeah? Mm -hmm. Save some children's lives. So far we have done a training course for doctors and technicians. They had two days training. 
Now they are ready to work on that machine, Sophia machine, with a rapid test machine, which is a very uh, new in uh, high technology. We have never used that kind of machine before. Mongolia is a very unique place, and they're some of the last nomadic people. But there's not a lot of attention uh, with respect to surveillance. And so sometimes we might find something that uh, could be a major threat to mankind in this kind of a setting.